now we're going to look at the elements of accounting the elements of accounting include assets liabilities and owners equity assets are items with money value owned by a business liability are debts owed by a business and owners equity is the difference between how much is owned and how much is owed just like with you and I we have personal things that we own and we also have bills that we owe and sometimes if we apply for a loan or financial aid the people that we're applying to will want to know a little bit about our net worth and our net worth includes the assets that we own and the bills that we owe and the difference between the two determines our net worth if we owe more than we're on then we have like a negative net worth if we own more than we owe then we have a positive net worth examples of asset accounts include accounts receivable and that's when we sell goods to customers on credit and they owe us money equipment and that includes things like um, office equipment including copiers computers desks chairs cash registers display cases delivery equipment like vans and trucks and it could include also land buildings and machinery okay it can also include supplies like um, pens stamps paper printer toner and things like that liabilities include any debts and accounts payable is when we as a business purchase goods on credit and then we owe that bill that's an accounts payable and payable always indicates something that has to be paid in the future okay the person or business to whom we owe the payable is called the creditor and another form of liability is the note payable which is a formal written promise to pay a specified amount at a future date owner's equity is um, things like capital proprietorship and net worth is what it's also called and it is the difference between how much one owes and how much one owns here we see the accounting equation and it's the relationship among the accounting elements so on the left hand side we see assets and on the right hand side we see liabilities plus owners equity and so the accounting equation must always be in balance and the liabilities plus the owner's equity added together must always add up to the same figure as the amount of assets that we owe and in this example you see that Jeanette Deese has assets of thirty thousand dollars her liabilities are ten thousand and her owner's equity is twenty thousand so the ten plus the twenty equals thirty and both sides are equal to thirty thousand so it's in balance so let me stress again the accounting equation must always balance the amount of assets must always equal the liabilities and owners equity added together